What time is it? It's whistle ticket time. What time is it? It's whistle ticket time. What time is it? It's whistle ticket time. Hey everybody, welcome back to Whistle Thicket Tom here. So I did a video recently on our quails that we got about a month ago. And I've had a few people ask me about my quail hutch and what I keep in it. So the point of this video is to kind of show you all of the accessories and what you need to raise homestead quail. So this is a nice little homestead setup. It's not to sell a bunch of quail eggs, it's for our family. There are quail systems you can get that most of them, um, I guess, are made out of wire. They're stackable. Um, you can grow hundreds of quails in them. Some of them, the eggs fall from the cage somehow, and you don't even have to open the cage to get the eggs. This is not that setup. This is just a small homestead hutch and I'm gonna show you everything we have inside the hutch and how we take care of our quails. So a lot of my feeders that I'm using are actually for chicks. Um, this is just a waterer. You could get this at any farm store, tractor supply, feed store. It's not gonna say quail feeder, but it's going to be a chicken chick feeder. Uh, this is a waterer, of course. I have eight quail. I only need to fill this up once every few days, so that's a nice benefit of having this small system. And since quills are smaller than chickens, they drink less water. So this um, small little water, I only have to fill up maybe twice a week. Here's my quail feeder. Again, it's for starting off chickens, for chicks. Um, what I'm using to feed is probably two-thirds a, um, a wild game bird feed that I'm using. Um, it's basically similar to bird seed. And then I also am mixing in some chicken food. I'm not going with the chicken pellets. I'm going with a chicken scratch. So I'm still trying to figure out what best to feed my quails, but the game bird feed is made for quails. Um, it's a little bit harder to find. It's a little more expensive, but that's what I'm using right now. I'm still trying to figure out treats that I can give my quails. Um, chickens love treats. Chickens will eat almost anything. That's probably a benefit to chickens versus quails is that it's easier to feed chickens. They're much better at foraging. Quails, of course, you have to keep inside a hutch. You don't free range quails if you let them out. They will fly away. You will never see them again. They are much better at flying than chickens, but they're still not a great flying animal. They are a ground bird, and because of that, they don't really roost at night on a roosting bar or anything like that. They sleep on the ground, and they will fly up if they're startled, and I will talk more about that, but for the most part, um, I just use a feeder and a water that you would use for chicks, for chickens. So I also have a dust bath. It's actually kind of empty right now, but I put sand and I put fireplace ash in here for the quails. They like to take a dust bath to stay clean. Um, it lowers the chances of mites. So a dust bath is a nice addition to your, your quail hutch to keep your quails happy. Whoa! This is just an old flower bucket. I have a couple of these inside the hutch. The reason I have that is again, they are a ground bird. They like to feel more secure with some cover. This is what I'm using for right now. It seems to work great. They don't go in here all the time, but, but they like to stay inside of this. And I have a smaller pot in there as well. And again, it's just to give them a more natural habitat. I know a plastic uh, flower pot doesn't seem that natural but it gives them a little more security and I want to raise healthy quail, but I also want to raise happy quail. So this is what I'm using for the bedding. I did a close up shot there. This is horse bedding in pelleted form. Um, I did start out using some straw for the quails. 
and it got really gross and kind of yucky and messy. Um, this is working much better. I've only been using this about two weeks, but it's cleaner. It, I think it's gonna last longer for bedding. And quails do not lay in a nest box as often as chickens do. Um, they just kind of lay eggs wherever they want. They're just walking, they find a place to lay. And this here is much easier to find my eggs in than the hay was. And again, the hay got wet and moldy and it was just not what I wanted. Straw is what I use mainly. Um, so this is just horse bedding. We also use this for our rat cage inside and for our, um, our um, pet bird inside. We have a conure. This stuff works great. Um, it soaks up wetness and smells and the quails seem to like it again. So I'm gonna show you inside the coop, sorry, hutch, it's not a coop, it's a hutch, a quail hutch. I'm gonna show you inside the hutch and we're just gonna hang out with the quails a little bit and then I'm going to talk about the outside of the hutch and what I like and don't like about it. about the outside of the hutch and what I like and don't like about it I did not make this hutch I wish I had it's an awesome design um, we bought the hutch with the quails we have eight quails and we also got a little bit of food two waterers um, all for 75 bucks which was a pretty good deal and the quails were already laying so that's a great thing um, so what I like about this hutch is first it's raised off the ground most hutches are raised off the ground um, so it's going to lower some attacks from predators. I also like these raised sideboards. Again, that's going to protect them from predators more. Um, I do not like the chicken wire. I am going to replace the chicken wire or put another layer over it of welded wire. Um, we have a black rat snake or several that hang out on the farm. We love them. Occasionally they get chicken eggs. And I could see a black rat snake squeezing its way in here and making a meal of our quails as well. And I don't want that to happen. Um, I hate chicken wire. Um, I think it keeps chickens in, but anything that wants to get inside the chicken coop can rip this open pretty easily. We had a raccoon once rip or reach its hand through chicken wire and pull the wing off a poor silky chicken. And she still lived for several for several years, and luckily she was a silky, so they don't really fly at all, especially for chickens. But I do not like the chicken wire. I know it's a cheap way to go, but I am going to replace this soon. I don't want a snake to eat my quails. That would not be a good day. So the table it's on is actually an old air hockey table for kids. So whoever thought of that, props to you. Great ingenuity, great recycling, reusing stuff. So that's kind of cool. The table actually collapses down, so that's a nice plus. Um, and the hutch is kind of cute. You know, that's always good if something looks cute. Um, the roof is um, tight. It keeps the rain out. There's plenty of light that comes in throughout the day. What I don't like about this hutch is that it's a little hard to clean. Um, something that is cool, they laid down um, old floor tile on the bottom of the hutch. So it's easier to clean it that way and I really do like that. But it's kind of hard to clean out all of the bedding. You have to kind of pick it up, shovel it out. So this is what I'm going to do to improve the hutch. I'm going to take one of these off soon, put a few hinges on it. And then when I clean it, I'm going to take all the bedding to one corner and then I can just sweep it out into a bag and then I can use some of that bedding in my compost pile. But this is a great starter hutch. Um, I love it. It was 
it's nice and easy to maintain. Quails really are, so far, easy to take care of. We're enjoying their eggs. Um, I love my chickens, but I love my quails too now. I've been wanting quails for many, 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 many years. So it's great that we finally have them. I hope this video has helped you learn a little bit about quails. I hope maybe it's got you interested in quails. Quails are a little harder to get than chickens. You either have to find a local folk that has quails that they're selling, or you have to order them. And normally you have to order 50 to 100 quail at a time, and that does get a little expensive, and most people don't want 50 to 100 quail unless you want to start a business. But they're out there, they're great birds, and they're easy for backyard homesteaders. If you don't have a lot of land, if you're just homesteading in a backyard, and you don't have room to free range chickens, you can have a quail hutch anywhere. You can have this on a balcony. You can have this on your front porch. There's endless places that you could raise quails. You could raise quails on a city rooftop. So thanks for tuning in. If you like our channel, please like, subscribe, share, do whatever you're supposed to do on YouTube, right? And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time and keep on homesteading.